sending a mayday and a mayday relay. Firstly, we need to understand what is a mayday. Mayday comes from the French, aidez-moi, so mayday, come please help me. But what constitutes an actual mayday? What situation does your vessel have to be in to justify calling the most serious of distress calls? Well, a simple definition gives us grave and imminent danger to a person, a vessel, a vehicle or an aircraft. So effectively, we're looking at a threat to life. So grave and imminent danger to a person could be somebody who is seriously ill to a vessel. A few examples on the screen here could be a vessel on fire, could be a vessel sinking, a vehicle, anything looking at a vehicle around the coastline. So perhaps something stranded on a beach or perhaps having gone over a cliff or an aircraft. But most importantly, we're looking at requiring immediate assistance. So this is where we are hoping that vessels in the area that can render assistance and the local Coast Guard will be able to come to our assistance and hopefully remove us from the danger and make it safe. So we have a few examples. This could be a man overboard. It could be where we have a man overboard and we have lost sight of them, a man overboard at night. But actually, I would be looking at getting some help coming for a man overboard situation. It could be a fire on board. It could be that we have tried to put the fire out and we're no longer able to. And we're looking at abandoning our vessel into a life raft. The vessel could have capsized. It could have seriously grounded. So we could have a dangerous grounding where we're looking at waves pounding onto the vessel. Or we could have a serious medical emergency. And again, Really, we're looking at high category serious medical emergencies. So somebody suffering from a potential heart attack or a serious head injury or a catastrophic bleed. It's important to note that there's no definitive Mayday list. As a skipper, how you feel about the situation may be different to another skipper. But if we are looking at grave and imminent danger, that threat to life, you are looking at a Mayday situation. And remember, it can always be downgraded. So if you call a mayday and then you find that the situation is starting to resolve itself or is starting to get better, you are always in a position to contact the Coast Guard and downgrade it from a mayday. It very much depends on your experience. And remember, often multiple things can go wrong, not just one individual thing. So call for help early. Quite often, it's quite a trek for some of the RNLI boats or perhaps a, a Coast Guard helicopter to get themselves to your location, depending on how far offshore you are. So get help coming. It can always be switched off if you then don't need it. But make sure, most importantly, that your crew have been briefed on your emergency drills. Where is your emergency equipment? What is the radio procedure that you want them to use? And have they gone through these drills so that they can help you when you end up in a situation like this. So firstly, if we are in a distress situation, we're going to look at sending our DSC, Digital Selective Calling Alert, over channel 70. And we're going to be lifting the distress cover, exposing the button, selecting the button, pressing the button once. And on most modern radio sets, they will give you the option then to select the distress that you are in. And you'll see here a few examples, fire flooding, sinking, man overboard, capsized grounding and piracy. That initial press of the red button just gives the selection. You then need to press and hold that button for a further three to five seconds to transmit that digital alert. And we're going to wait for acknowledgement to come from the local Coast Guard. So what does the actual Mayday sequence look like? Initially, we're going to press the red button for five seconds and that distress alert is then sent out on channel 70. You can see here we have a stricken vessel sending out that initial distress alert. The yacht at the top of the picture there is fitted with DSC, so has received a distress alert. This small fishing vessel at the bottom isn't fitted with DSC, so is none the wiser that anything untoward is happening. That distress alert has gone directly out to the rescue centre and they will almost immediately send back that digital acknowledgement. And your radio set will show that the digital acknowledgement has been received. 
Once you have received your digital acknowledgement, then you are looking at sending out your Mayday message. So this is where we have the spoken voice message. We're going to go through that shortly. And we're sending that out over channel 16 on high power. Then all vessels, whether they're fitted with DSC or not, if they're listening on channel 16, will then be able to hear your Mayday message and understand what your problem is and whether they would be in a position to help or not. It's likely at that point then that the rescue centre, so most often your local Coast Guard, your uh, Maritime Rescue Coordination Centre, will come back to you to let you know, to acknowledge that they have received the Mayday and to then offer some more questions perhaps and to try and understand how they can best help you and what information they can pass on to the local rescue authorities in order to get them on their way to come and help you. So we have a four stage process. Stage number one, press the red button for five seconds, send the digital alert. Stage two, we receive the digital acknowledgement back from the rescue center. Stage three, we send our voice mayday message. And stage four, we look for that voice recognition from the Coast Guard. So who can acknowledge a DSC alert? Well, we're looking at alerts. If they're sent from a class D unit, which is what the vast majority of the, uh, the the vessels that we're looking at would have, the alert will be sent by that Class D set and the Maritime Rescue Coordination Centre or a Class A or Class B unit on a larger vessel would be able to send that acknowledgement. But it is likely with the coastal environment that we are looking at that that acknowledgement will come, the digital acknowledgement will come from that Maritime Rescue Coordination Centre. Once we've sent that digital alert and had our acknowledgement back, it's really important that we can put together what that Mayday message sounds like. So we're going to start with Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. We're saying it three times. We're making sure that everybody understands that we are in a Mayday situation. And you'll see here, I've got an M on the screen that's going to give us a little acronym to remember this by. So we're going to kick off with Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Then we're going to give our identity. So here the I is for identity. So this is Yacht Calamity, Yacht Calamity, Yacht Calamity. I'm going to give my call sign in this instance, Mike Victor Yankee Quebec 7, and also my MMSI 23208901. You'll see here, although I say Yacht Calamity three times, I only give my call sign and my MMSI once. So that's that initial distress call. This is on channel 16 on high power. I'm going to follow that with Mayday Yacht Calamity, Mike Victor Yankee Quebec 7, MMSI 23208901. So I'm repeating, but just the once this time, I'm repeating the spoken word Mayday, my identity, including my call sign and my MMSI. One of the most important pieces of information to then send to the Coast Guard is your position. And ideally, you should be sending them a latitude and longitude. That removes any issues around um, if you give a place name, for example, where that place is. This could be being handled by an MRCC some distance away from you. So if we give them a very clear latitude and longitude, they're easily able to plot that on their systems and make sure that the best assets are sent to come and help us. So in this instance, we have my position is five three degrees two five decimal two one minutes north zero zero three degrees five seven decimal three three minutes west and you'll see that i say each individual number what i don't say is 21 or 57 because they could be misconstrued for other numbers so i'm doing each individual digit as i go I could give my position and a range and a bearing from a known location. So I could give my position as something like I am two cables south of a particular bridge or I am two cables north of a particular buoy. But the preference really, if you have some onboard electronics there that you can use, would be to give your position by Latin long. Then we give the nature of our distress. So the D on the right hand side there for the nature of our distress. So in this instance, I am sinking. I require immediate assistance, so I'm asking for that assistance to be sent. In this instance, I just require immediate assistance. It could be something where I might require a medi medical assistance, immediate medical assistance, if I was looking at a serious injury. But usually this is just where we have an A on the right hand side there for assistance. I require immediate assistance. 
There are four persons on board. It's always useful for the rescue authorities to understand how many people are involved in this particular incident. So this is the total number of people involved, including you. If you're the skipper, don't just have a quick look round and note the people that you can see. This is the total number of people involved. So in this case, I have four persons on board my yacht, including me. And then I, we have at the bottom here for any other information. So what other useful information are you able to give at this point? In this particular scenario, I said that the vessel is sinking. So I'm able to say to the Coast Guard, we are wearing life jackets, we are abandoning to our life raft, and we have a VHF radio. So even though I am abandoning my vessel, I am still going to be able to have some communications either with the Coast Guard. Obviously, if it's a handheld VHF, it won't have the same sort of range, but I would be able to have some sort of communications either with the main Coast Guard center or with the rescue assets that may be sent to come to my assistance. And most importantly of all, at the end of this, I am looking at using the word over. I want a response. I don't want to just send out this message and hear nothing. I want a response. And over means I have finished talking over to you. I am looking for a response on this particular message. So a very quick recap then from the top, we're looking at Mayday spoken three times. So Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Then my identity where I give my vessel's name three times, but just my call sign and my MMSI once. Then I give my Mayday and my identity, and again, this time just the once. My position, ideally with a latitude and a longitude. The nature of my distress, so D here is the nature of my distress. I am sinking, I am on fire, we are grounded. Then we're looking at A for I require immediate assistance. There are four persons on board, remembering that's the total people involved in this particular scenario. And any other useful information that you have for the Coast Guard. In this instance, I chose to let them know that I was wearing life jackets, we were abandoning to our life raft, and we have a VHF handheld radio. And then the most important thing at the end, to let them know I have finished speaking, is to make sure I say the word over. And that gives the, the, the message over to the Coast Guard, over to the rescue authorities. So that works well if it is me in distress, and that's where I would be pushing my red button and following it with this distress call and the Mayday message. But what happens if it's somebody else in distress then? So maybe I have seen something where I think somebody else or another vessel is in grave and imminent danger. And in this instance, I look at this as a Mayday relay situation. So I am relaying a message on behalf of somebody else. Effectively, I'm going to become the bridge between that individual and the rescue authorities. So there's two types of Mayday relay that I really want to consider. I want to relay immediately if I see somebody who is stranded by the tide, somebody repeatedly raising and lowering their arms, so one of the international symbols of distress, they could be standing on deck, repeatedly raising and lowering their arms. It could be a vessel suffering a catastrophic explosion. So they're not in a position to send their own distress or send their own Mayday message or indeed an aircraft entering the water. And I'm going to relay that immediately. I don't need to wait for permission from anybody. I don't need to wait to hear anything. I just need to say, I have seen this. I will become the responsible authority, if you like, for sending the Mayday relay on their behalf. The other scenario that we have is where a vessel may well have sent a DSC distress alert and there's been no acknowledgement from a ship or rescue coordination centre. So going back to the message, the Mayday message that we just talked about, if I had sent that distress alert out and not received an acknowledgement, it may well have been received by another um, a local vessel. And so I'm going to wait the five minutes. Once that five minutes is up, I can contact that vessel to say I have received their distress and try and get some more information. But that's where I'm going to send a Mayday relay after five minutes rather than relaying immediately. And what does the Mayday relay message look like? Well, it is a similar type of message, but in this instance, we have no DSC announcement. So there's nothing on a class D set where we can send a Mayday relay announcement. We don't have that in the functionality. So there's no DSC to be sent here, but the message is still sent on channel 16 on high power. And the message does look a little bit similar. We start with Mayday relay, Mayday relay, Mayday relay. Again, we're mentioning it three times. And in this instance, this is just to let everybody know, 
in saying Mayday Relay, there is something bad happening, but it is not happening to me. This is happening to somebody else. Unlike with a distress message where I want to send that out and I can broadcast that, for my Mayday Relay, I look at sending it either to the Coast Guard or to all stations. In this instance, I'm going to say all stations, all stations, all stations. That gets everybody's attention and they can understand that this is going out to everybody. I put in my vessel's information. So this is motor vessel Apollo, 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 call sign Alpha Bravo 123, MMSI 23208901. That's all my information, but that's been tallied up with that Mayday Relay. So anyone listening will understand that there's nothing wrong with me. I am the one who is going to pass the message on. Now, this could be an unfortunate incident where a sailing vessel has capsized and is not in a position to raise their own alarm. So we haven't heard anything over the VHF radio. Um, so we could say Mayday unknown sailing vessel. So now we're going through that Mayday message. In this particular instance, I've chosen a picture that does have the vessel Rambler that capsized off the Fastnet during one of the, um, the Fastnet races. But it could be that you don't know the name of the vessel. And it doesn't matter because what you're being clear on is Mayday somebody else. Mayday sailing vessel. Okay. In approximate position, and again, if I can give their approximate latitude and longitude, that is the best way of giving their position. Some simple information then on what the, the, the nature of their distress is in the same way I did for my Mayday message. So their vessel has capsized. They require immediate assistance. And you'll notice I've changed how I talk now. I talk in they require rather than I require immediate assistance. There are four persons on board or however many people that you can see. And any other information that you have, we are making our way to assist the vessel or we are unable to assist the vessel. And then again, at the end, we're looking at the most important word is over over to the rescue authorities, over to you. So we're expecting this to get a response from the rescue authorities. So a really quick recap then, if we're looking at that Mayday Relay message, if it is something that has happened immediately and we want to relay that immediately, so someone cut off by the tide, for example, someone not in a position to send that message themselves, we're looking at relaying that Mayday message immediately. We're going to wait five minutes if we're looking at um, responding to a DSC alert that hasn't been acknowledged. In this instance, there's no DSC announcement. We don't have any buttons to push on our radio and we're going to send the Mayday message out on channel 16 on high power. And it looks very similar. So Mayday Relay, Mayday Relay, Mayday Relay, all stations, all stations, all stations. This is motor vessel Apollo, 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 call sign Alpha Bravo 123, MMSI 23208900001. Then I'm very clear that I moved to Mayday unknown sailing vessel or Mayday person cut off by tide or Mayday family cut off by tide. It doesn't matter that I can't be any more descriptive as long as we establish that the Mayday is attached to another vessel or a family or whatever it is attached to. I can give their approximate position ideally in a latitude and a longitude as shown on the screen there. And I can also then give information about what the nature of their distress is. In this instance, the vessel has capsized. It could be that uh, the family are cut off by the rising tide. It could be a vessel on fire. It could be that you have seen somebody who's waving their arms, you know, uh, waving their arms up and down. So you're trying to give as much information as you can about what the nature of their distress is. They require immediate assistance. There are four persons on board or however many people you can see associated with it. And then the information that you may have. So we are making our way to assist the vessel. Uh, we are looking to start the search, you know, whatever that happens to be. Or maybe we can see this happening if it was, say, a family cut off by the tide. But we are unable to get the boat. Uh, or our vessel close enough in in order to render them any assistance, but we would be able to stand off. And then again, at the end, the most important thing we're looking at is the word over. So we're looking at over to you, handing that message over to the rescue authorities and then hopefully getting that message back from them. So this was a really short session where we've looked at our Mayday message and our Mayday Relay message. I hope you've enjoyed it.